NFTs are going insane. Everyone is talking about them, everyone's buying them. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the different marketplaces that we can actually buy some of these NFTs on. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wajaha and today I wanna to kind of compare some of the different marketplaces for some of the most popular blockchains. We're gonna look at a few different ones. I've got the computer right here, so we're gonna look at Cardano NFTs, which is a marketplace for Cardano NFTs. We're gonna look at OpenSea, which is a marketplace for Ethereum NFTs. Uh, as well as Matic. We're going to look at DaVinci, which is the one for Harmony. And finally, we're going to look at Solana, which is obviously for Solana. No one on YouTube seems to have made a video comparing these. So today, that's what we're going to do. As always, smash the like button if you're into this sort of stuff. Your comments have been really, really helpful and you've been supporting the channel. So I really, really appreciate that. And let's get straight to it. So I thought the best way to show you guys the different kind of marketplaces is to just literally show you on the computer. So we're going to start off with Cardano NFT, which is the marketplace for Cardano NFTs, as it says in the name. And we're just going to kind of quickly go through the different features, what what's on there, what's not on there, and kind of take you through how to maybe even buy yourself a Cardano NFT. It's not that difficult to be honest, but you know, some of these marketplaces have some good features, some have not so good features. So let's just go through them and yeah let's just get straight to it so cardano nfts if you want to create an account you have to click this button over here um and i'm already logged in so normally you'd have to just create an account now you do have to put your details in there your email and a few other things create an account and then once you've got that sorted you're ready now the problem with cardano and the problem with cardano nfts because of that is that there's no web3 inject or there's no kind of way to connect your wallet directly and there's no kind of uh, Google extension either and that just means that buying Cardano NFTs is a little bit different to any other type of platform and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that so if we go to the home page we can kind of see you know some of the featured tokens over here I mean I'll be honest I am not too familiar with Cardano NFTs because there's something that has just recently popped up out of nowhere I do know that some projects like Space Buds have done really well and obviously that's evidence <laughs> there's evidence with the price there as well um, uh, and this one as well Dirt Buds but anyway so this is the platform if you wanted to find a particular NFC, NFT series, you're gonna to have to click on the marketplace and you're gonna to have to just search for it. Now, you can see at the moment there's 225,000 assets, which just shows how, I don't know, early we are to this. Cause 225,000, trust me, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Um, and essentially buying an NFT is as simple as just finding the series that you want. So let's go for Zombits cause that's one that I've recently been looking at. And you can see that, look, there's 3,600 available for sale. Now, we've got some filters on the side here, so we can kind of sort some by low to high or high to low. But one of the biggest issues that I've found with this platform is that there's no specific filters to search for specific traits or attributes. Now, when I was looking at this series, I wanted one that had um, like glowing lights or flashing uh, eyes, sorry. Um, and there was no way of me to kind of find that out on this platform. I had to use a different website that showed me, you know, where I could buy one from. And that just made it a bit difficult because like, you know, I don't know the traits. And if I had a filter that could kind of show me the traits for these NFTs, that would be really helpful. Anyway, in terms of buying one, let's say we wanted to buy the floor and let's say we wanted to buy this one for 20 ADA. We would click this. Obviously, once you've logged in and created an account and you'll find all the details here about you know what making sure that it's the zombie zombit project this yellow tick ensures that it's a verified um seller or verified um asset and not one that's been faked and it's as simple as just clicking buy you click buy and it'll take us to another page where we will have to make sure that we've got an ada in one of these wallets now i have mine in daedalus so that's okay uh, and then we have to send 19.98 ADA to this particular address and we've got a time limit. So this is what I meant. Buying NFTs on uh, CNFT or any sort of card on a platform is a little bit different at the moment. Um, it's a bit unusual, but hey, that's just how it works. I have tried this before and it does work quite well. You essentially send this amount of ADA plus the, the transaction fee. Um, send that over and then usually within a few minutes, the NFT by the seller will send the asset to you and then you'll be able to see it. So 
uh, there's that. Um, once you've done that, the NFT will get sent to your address and you'll have it. So yeah, that's how you buy one. It's pretty simple. Transaction fees on Cardano are relatively cheap, so there's not too much to worry about. You just have to make sure that you do not send it from an exchange and only from one of the supported wallets that you just saw on the screen earlier. Okay, um, if we go to Mint, I believe this is not currently available at the moment, as well as Launch. These two seem like interesting features. I look forward to seeing what that is like in the future. They do have a decentralized exchange on here, which I don't know, uh, it's still in beta phase, I guess. So, I mean, that will be good once it comes out. Um, and if you want to sell, it's as simple as going to, it'll take you to your dashboard. So here you go, here's me. Um, it will show you some of the assets that you have got. So I've got this Shapes NFT that I bought. And if I wanted to sell it, I would just click this, enter in the amount of ADA and then click confirm sale which uh, seems relatively easy to do as well. So yeah, there's, there isn't really much to this platform at the moment. It's very, very early days. One of the issues is that you just, the searchability or the search functions on this platform are awful. Um, and I do hope that with time that does improve. So we can see all the different NFT platforms, uh, NFT projects launching on here. So let's say Cardano Warriors, we wanted to have a look at these. We just click filter and it should show us all the different Cardano Warriors, but there's no way of searching between these for a specific one, which is pretty awful in my opinion. I don't like that, but hey, we're in infancy stage here. And uh, you know, at least there is NFTs that we can actually buy. Hey, it's a good start. All right, so that's uh, CNFT. Let's move on to OpenSea. Now, OpenSea is the largest, the world's first and largest NFT marketplace. And as you can imagine, that means that there's a lot going on here. There's currently 20 million NFTs on OpenSea. And I would say that even then we're still early. So 20 million NFTs, this is across Ethereum and Matic uh, because those are the two chains. Well, in fact, there's three. There's uh, this one as well, but to be honest, most of the activity happens on Ethereum. So that's why that's what we're here for. Now, OpenSea is great. I use it all the time. If we scroll down on the home page, we can kind of see some of the featured or exclusive OpenSea drops and we can see kind of what's trending as well at the moment. So if we were to just click on a series like this, um, we can kind of get some more information. We can see how many items there are, how many owners. We can see the floor price, which is a very interesting metric. And we can see the kind of the volume traded as well. Uh, and one of the things I like is that if we just click the floor, pr floor price, it will just automatically arrange them from low to high. So we can see which ones we can buy right now. And we can see that we can buy this um, uh, Ghost NFT for 6.25 ETH. And I like that. It's very, very easy to use. Now, the most powerful tool, in my opinion, is what comes up on the side. So let's go to one of our favorite series, the Wicked Craniums. Um, and I'll show you something that I really like about this. So on the side, you can kind of see buy now on auction has offers. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But on the side here, this, this is the cool thing. We can basically arrange these NFTs into their traits. So let's say I wanted a cranium with an emerald um, body. Well, I can click emerald and it will basically show me all the different emerald uh, cranium NFTs in order. And I really think that this is so powerful, especially when you're searching for bargains or you're searching for a specific type of NFT within a series. This is huge. And it will also tell us the kind of number of NFTs that, you know, has that trait. So we can see that there's only 49 VR in total and only 15 of them are for sale with buy now. So I think that's really cool. You get lots and lots of information from this and yeah, I think it's amazing. Now, one of the other benefits is that, let's say we wanted to buy this particular cranium. Well, we can click on it and we can click buy now and that will connect to your wallet. You connect with your MetaMask. Uh, there's other ways to connect as well, but yeah, I think MetaMask is generally the easiest and you can create an account if you just click on here and you, you know, you'll have an option here to create your account. Right, one of the best things here is that we've got this make offer thing as well. And this is something that isn't on any other marketplace at the moment. When we click make offer, what we can do is we can enter an amount of wrapped ETH and enter a custom date or whatever and make an offer. And that offer will take place until that date. You know, let's say we wanted three days, right? This offer will last for three days and the seller can then do what they want with that information. So we can see 
uh, if we have a look at some particular, doo -doo -doo -doo, if we click as has offers, we will, we'll have a look at some that have some offers on. Maybe this has some offers on. Yeah, so look, here you go. We can see that Goatmaster and uh, 0726 CD, they've put in some offers for this cranium. He's selling it at 0.4, and these people have put some offers for 0.27. So, you know, sometimes you can grab a bargain like that, and for sometimes, if the seller needs quick liquidity, well, if they get an offer that, you know, they like, or if they get an offer that they are happy with, well, Extrusion can do that, and he can sell his NFT like that. Uh, this uses wrapped ETH, not ETH, so that's just important to be aware of. And, oh yeah, of course, if we scroll down, we can kind of see some of the history behind that nft as well we can see the previous owners when they traded and the price that they sold at as well and we can see that this actually did sell for 0.13 ethereum um and uh, you know i think this is a really powerful tool i really do like it and it works really well if we go to the top and we click on the marketplace we can kind of uh, arrange different kind of series or like you know we can see our nfts music nfts domain nfts um, so we should be able to see ENS, here you go, uh, and you know, these are, I, I like that, there's lots of different searchability aspects to OpenSea, and you know, I think it works really well. Some powerful metrics, if we go to stats and rankings, we can kind of see the, you know, highest traded volume within the last 24 hours or 7 days, we can see the kind of the price changes, the owners, the assets, and sometimes even the floor prices here. So, you know, I think that's really cool that we can kind of see this sort of stuff. You know, if we have a look at, you know, Art Blocks Playground, we can see that they've got a floor price of 0.38 ETH. Uh, and, you know, all of this information is there for us to see. And obviously, ETH NFTs has everything going on there. All of the good drops are on ETH NFTs or on Ethereum, on the Ethereum blockchain anyway. Um, and, you know, that's where the action happens. So OpenSea is the place to be. A few things that I don't like about OpenSea. Well, first of all, is that when you when it comes to selling your NFT, um, often you do have some fees. Now those fees are obviously the Ethereum gas fee, which sometimes can be a bit difficult. Usually the buyer is the one who pays the gas fee. But also a small amount goes to OpenSea, the company. Uh, usually it's around 2%, I believe, or 2.5%. So, you know, they're making a lot of money from these NFT sales. Um, and recently there was some drama regarding one of the one of the members who worked at OpenSea. He was basically using his position to make more money. Uh, not very nice, but, you know, OpenSea is still number one. OpenSea will probably always be number one. Uh, and I think it works really well. If we go to create, whoops, we don't want to click on that. If you go to create, you can basically create your NFT as well. Um, and it's really simple to do so. You literally just have to drag and drop your JPEG or PNG file, type in, uh, you know, the name, the details about your NFT, how much you want to sell it for, and boom, that's it. You've got your NFT collection ready. If you go to your profile, you can kind of see uh, some of the NFTs that you have. Um, we've got, uh, you know, some that I've just recently purchased. Um, and this automatically comes onto your profile as well. You don't have to wait. You don't have to um, manually add anything. As soon as you have the NFT in your wallet and you've connected your wallet to OpenSea, you'll be able to see it all. And I think that's really, really cool. So yeah, that's OpenSea. Let's move on to DaVinci. And uh, DaVinci is the NFT platform for Harmony. Obviously, because Harmony is a lot smaller than Cardano and a lot smaller than Solana and even more smaller than Ethereum, there's going to be less NFTs on here. But I really, really think that, you know, Harmony is a blockchain that's going to explode in the near future. Uh, and yeah, I thought, well, let's show you what the NFT platform is like. So again, you connect to your account with your MetaMask. It's very, very simple to do that as well. And once you're on here, you will see, look, oh, here you go. We only have... 35,000 NFTs minted. That is not a lot at all. When you compare that to 200,000 on Cardano and 20 million on OpenSea, uh, you know, DaVinci is in its early, early days. So we can kind of see some of the featured artists here. Uh, so if we just click on one, maybe we can see some of the artwork. There you go. Um, here you'll find the seller. Here you'll find if they are a golden author and a verified author. You'll see how many views they've got, how many likes and, and things like that as well. Kind of like Instagram, a bit a bit gamified. Um, and yeah, if you want to find a particular artist, you can click this. this. These are all the golden artists. 
So let's click on this and we can kind of see his collection or their collection. And so we can see all these different NFTs here and I, I really like this series. We can see if they're sold out or if they're still available. And you know, if we wanted to buy one, we would click on this and we would click buy. And that will just t open up a MetaMask uh, confirmation. You would literally just pay the, the one and you'll have it in your account, you'll have it in your wallet. And yeah, it's really quick, really easy. Harmony has super, super cheap gas fees and very, very quick transaction per seconds. Transaction per seconds, it is very quick. It's very quick, you know, two seconds for a transaction. Um, you know, you can't go wrong there. Uh, if we go to create, again, we're able to just do the same thing, just like OpenSea, where we can just drag uh, and drop our JPEG, PNG or GIF. We can, you know, write uh, write some details in this area. We can write, um, uh, we can write a description. We can write how many copies, royalties, which is obviously one of the best things about NFTs as well. Uh, we can, you know, unlock potential files or codes or whatever, you know, once you buy the NFT and, you know, just create. And I think this is awesome. I'm looking to make my own NFT series soon. So yeah, DaVinci is one that I'm definitely going to be looking at, especially for making NFTs on Harmony. If you go to explore, we kind of see all of the uh, current stuff created by people. You know, there's all sorts of wacky stuff on here. And uh, yeah, you can just scroll through and, you know, have a look, see if there's anything you like. Again, one of the things I don't like about DaVinci is that there's no searchability. There's, I mean, I can search for a particular, I can search for a particular NFT series on here, but you know, there's no real filters. There's no like way of me looking at specific traits or specific attributes or rarities or anything like that, which I find, you know, not particularly great. Um, I don't think this is very optimized either because I clicked on music and I'm seeing loads of random stuff come up on here. Uh, videos, okay, fine. Uh, I think I think obviously DaVinci is still in its infancy as well. I do think that this has potential uh, because I, I think Harmony has potential and I do think that this is more optimized, better than CNFT, uh, at least as a way of connecting your wallet and you know, time will tell, time will tell. But anyway, that's DaVinci for you. Uh, you know, I hope that you can have a look connect your wallet and boom, try and play around with some NFTs. Right, let's move on to the last one uh, where we're gonna look at Solana. Solana is one of the marketplaces on Solana, which is the first one. There is another one called SoulSea, and on SoulSea you can kind of create your own NFTs and things like that, whereas on Solana you can't. On Solana they have very specific collections on here already, and we can kind of see these collections on here. Now, there isn't many, there's probably only 30 or so which, you know, it's not great, but, you know, at least these are all verified and at least you're not getting random people that are basically buying fake NFTs. Anyway, you connect your wallet to a kind of phantom wallet or whatever kind of wallet you have. If you click connect, there you go. Here are the different options. You can just click connect your wallet and your wallet will be connected. And then you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, on here, there's lots of different uh, collections as I mentioned so let's just click on this one because uh, Soul Snatchers was one that I was actually trying to buy a few days ago when it re released. One of the problems with Soul Solana is that once the Soul Snatchers actually released it took hours for them to come onto this platform and so there was no real resale market for quite a long time which was a bit of a shame whereas if you're on OpenSea as soon as the NFT is in your wallet it will appear on your profile whether or, you know whether or not you care about that or not is a different thing but for me that's quite important. Now on here again we see some really nice metrics that we don't see on DaVinci and we don't see on CNFT. We can see floor price, owners, items, the the volume traded and I think this is so so important especially when you're trying to evaluate whether or not an NFT is a good investment or not. Yes there is another case in which if you're buying an NFT because you like it surely it doesn't actually matter how many items or owners there are but if you're looking to make money or if you're looking to do this from an investment point of view these metrics are very, very, very important. 
And as I mentioned before, the attributes, this is so, so important as well because these determine rarities and again, that can affect your price and things like that as well. So having these is really, really cool. You know, if I wanted to buy a Solana, um, Soul Snatcher, sorry, with Harry Potter glasses, well, look, at least I can filter and I can find out that the cheapest one is 2.1 Solana. And, and you know, I think that's great. Uh, one of the other things that we can see is like um, last price high to low so we can kind of see the kind of the most expensive ones so we can see that this one sold for almost 200 soul and yeah again I think that's really really cool uh, we've got some Twitter and uh, discord links as well which are nice um, I do like that so yeah uh, this is a good platform I think there's a few things missing first of all the ability to create your own NFTs but also the fact that there isn't many series at the moment however look we can see here coming soon there's three more coming already. And you know, as the Solana ecosystem grows, as the NFT platform on Solana grows further, we should see more. Look, we are still seeing 3,500 daily sales, which to be fair, is not that much if we compare that to OpenSea, but you know, this is still very good. And again, look, it says we're in beta phase at the moment or beta stage at the moment. Uh, Solana will continue to grow in my opinion. And you know, the NFT market on Solana will therefore follow. If you had to ask me kind of what my overall opinion was, I would have to say that without a doubt, OpenSea is number one. It is miles ahead of every other marketplace. However, there are some negatives and, and you know, those come with using the Ethereum blockchain, which is kind of a, a rich man's game nowadays, especially with the extortionate prices of gas fees, the extortionate price of Ethereum, as well as Ethereum NFTs, which are generally quite expensive. Uh, and of course we have had recent controversy with the OpenSea company as well, but I will continue to use OpenSea because it works well, it's very easy to use and you know, all the action happens there. Uh, my second favorite would probably be DaVinci and that's because I like the way that we can kind of create NFTs on Harmony very, very cheaply, very easily. Anyone can create anything at any time. Uh, there's sections to see who's verified and who's not verified. And, you know, I do think that with its infancy, there's so much to grow and there is a lot of people working on some interesting things there. Uh, third would have to be Solana. And that's because they've got those very good metrics on there that help you to kind of justify whether or not an investment or an NFT is a good investment or not with, with uh, attributes, floor prices, volume, and loads of other details like that. And lastly, CNFT, Cardano NFTs, which, you know, right now are not very good. Not very good. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, actual, the NFTs themselves are great and you'll find lots of very good projects that you can make a lot of money on, but the actual marketplace itself is awful right now. And I do think that for Cardano NFTs as a marketplace to grow, well, for Cardano NFTs in general, I do think they need some sort of wallet integration where you can essentially connect your wallet and you know find your nfts in seconds i don't like the idea of having to send ada to an address for them to send you the token i prefer it to be more like a transaction um you know time will tell how card on nfts change for now this is how it is for now it works people are using it people are making money uh, people are buying and selling nfts so yeah, time will tell how, how things improve or how things change. But for now, that's my overview on these different NFT marketplaces. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And you know, if you want more NFT kind of series or NFT videos, just let me know in the comment section below. Happy to, you know, think about a variety of different ideas and happy to create some more content for you guys. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much. And I'll be back with another video soon.